My mother has been dead for 15 years. Many people have mothers who are no longer here or who are frail or ill. Many mothers struggle to bring up children alone or find themselves in difficult marriages. Mother's Day can be hard for these mothers, for their daughters and sons. And yet all the greeting cards for today, the Mother's Day advertisements, present the perfect mother, smiling and happy, surrounded by an ideal family and a nice home. Today, our blessings and prayers for mothers encompass all of them, sick or healthy, young or old, living or dead. Our Easter scripture readings are a wonderful encouragement to do just that because they talk about love. And it's only love which can overcome the barriers of illness and death, separation and estrangement. Love conquers all. Both the letter of St. John and the passage from John's Gospel today talk of this transforming love. Let us love one another since love comes from God. I have loved you, says Christ, remain in my love. I've told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy be complete. The love that John encourages in us and our families today is not something superficial or frothy. It's certainly not anything sentimental. It's not just about feelings. It's about commitment. To love is a decision. Someone can have no greater love, says Jesus, than to lay down their life for their friends. That is the sacrificial love which will break down the barriers of death, dementia or disease. That's the love which can overcome disharmony and division. It is a commitment to love one another as Christ has loved us, which will bring us all into harmony and joy. To each of you, enjoy this day dedicated to your mother.